A beep, a boop, a beep, a boop, boop, a beep, boop. Ah. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to How to Record Using a DSLR Camera Without Knowing What That Is. Simple! Okay, so first, a DSLR camera is simply defined as a camera that doesn't fit in your pocket. In order to record my GH3, I'll be using my Panasonic TM900 camera, which looks like this. Oh, and to record this shot, I'm using my iPhone. <laughs> but I don't know what's recording this. So turn your camera on and set it to manual mode because we're bows. And then search the menu for automatic settings like I dynamic clear ruin your shot and turn it off because those Autobots can roll out. There are four main settings we'll look at today. Just the basics. I mean, we're not Steven Spielberg. First off is the ISO. The ISO, or as some people call it, the ISO, is the camera's sensitivity to the scene. But don't worry, you won't hurt the camera's feelings. It just means that the higher the ISO, the brighter the shot. Except don't go too far or you might blow it out and lose quality. I tend to record with an ISO of 200 or 400 and maybe 800 if I'm feeling sassy. Moving on to our second setting now, aperture. Now luckily, most cameras nowadays come with an aperture setting built in. So you don't have to buy one off Apple. Installing that on a camera is a nightmare. Okay, so depending on your camera lens or something, you'll have a different aperture range available to you. When zoomed out, mine goes from 3.5 to 22. And of course, 3.5 and 22 represent numbers. The higher the aperture value, the more light's let into the camera and the shallower the depth of field. I'm glowing, but the higher the aperture value, the darker the image, because less light's let in. But now the background's a little more in focus, a deeper depth of field. Now I like that fuzzy background look and lots of light, so I keep my aperture down at 3.5. Moving on to our third setting, shutter speed. The lower the shutter speed, the more smooth the motion is. And when you raise shutter speed, the more kung fu it looks. Except be careful, when you raise shutter speed, you lose a bit of light. I have my shutter speed set to double the frame rate that I record in, because I think I heard that somewhere. So I record at 25 frames per second in 1080p, so I set my shutter speed to twice that, 50. The last thing is the white balance. This will determine the overall temperature of your shot. Now the secret to this one is to use the presets. With the white balance set to incandescent mode, we have a pretty cool kitty. But if we set white balance to cloudy, now we have a hot pussy. I find I use sunny mode the most. Okay, so let's recap. A lower ISO means a darker shot, but with less graininess in the image, so it's quieter. And a higher ISO is a lighter shot, but more noisy. Low aperture is brighter, but with a narrow focus. And high aperture is darker, but with a wider focus. Now low shutter speed is brighter, but with smooth motion. And high shutter speed is darker, but with crisper motion. And wide balance, well that determines the temperature of your image. And for this, well, I just use the presets. And there it is. So grab your cameras, start fiddling, and play with it yourself. And let me know in the comments if you'd like a follow-up video where we can talk about things like setting up the focus and hitting the record button. And that's how to use a DSLR camera without knowing how to use a DSLR camera. I'm Sam Tucker. Bye-bye. Subscribe -bye. today. Funk it down. Yes, hello, I am a cat. Now quickly, let me school you on how to relax. I usually get cows to read a book to me, but if you don't have access to a cow, head over to audibletrial.com forward slash samtime and download a free audiobook. Yes, they may not be cows, but the milk's free. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to how to use a DSLR camera without knowing how to use a DSLR camera. Oh, lens cap. How to record on a DSLR camera when your phone's ringing in your pocket. Old MacDonald had a farm. No, I've, I've heard that one.